How about that? It's a catchy tune, isn't it? That's Shakira. You recognize her. She's a judge on The Voice, huge star, international star. New album today uh, called Shakira, and that song there, uh, Can't Remember to Forget You. So she's huge. And then how about this for huge numbers? She's got nearly 87 million likes on her Facebook page. That's impressive, but let's put it in context. This year we got the tote board, her, Shakira, versus the other judges just smashing the competition. 87 million for her, 47 million for Usher, Blake with 7 mil, Adam Levine, 4 million. So it's all about Shakira when you're talking about likes on a Facebook page. And she's popular, deservedly so. Let's bring in our experts to give us a little insight on all this. Senior editor, In Touch Weekly, Kim Serafin joining us. Also, uh, celebrity entertainment reporter Hyla is with us. Hyla, talk about the secrets of Shakira and why we love her so much. Well, I think first and foremost, you have to understand she is an international star. Unlike Blake Shelton, who is huge in the U.S., he's not bigger anywhere else. She's from Colombia, and when it comes to South America, she owns that. Plus, you know, here's someone who has integrated herself into the World Cup. A few years ago, she had the theme song for the World Cup. She's doing it again this year. That is the largest sporting event in the world. She has a huge global audience, and I think that's why she's really showing up the other judges on The Voice. Yeah, exactly. Hey, do we, Lynette, do we have her statement? I think she had a couple of lines about this, all the Facebook friends. Here it is. I always wanted to have a lot of friends, but never imagined it would be so many <laughs> and smiley face, so humble. So, hey, Kim, Hyla touched on that, the international appeal. Uh, she's got the new album. We know about that. What about being a judge on The Voice or any of these competition shows? How much does that amp up your popularity? Oh, oh, it's been huge for her because she is so great on The Voice. I mean, she really holds her own against three very strong personalities on The Voice. Uh, she's really funny. She even knows how to be strategic. And back, you know, if you think about the auditions, there was one audition where she turned around. A lot of people didn't know what was going on. She had this kind of poker face, and then nobody else turned around, got there. And so she got the first pick on this contestant. Um, she really can give it back. She'll say things like, look, I have so many Facebook followers. I have more likes than any of these guys on this panel that's why you should come with me mm -hmm. uh, so she knows how to play that she knows how to joke around she knows how to really play to her strengths and I think that's gotten her so many more fans as well yeah and still her strengths performing let's weave the two together here when we talk about her performing and her on a competition show let's show the clip from her with dancing with the stars again amping up the popularity let's listen and then she's dancing away too and she can dance here we go All right, that was from 2010, but all this adding up. Hyla just makes you want to move, doesn't it? Come on. Look at that. <laughs> of course. You know, what's most impressive is that here, here's a, someone who has the most liked Facebook page in the world, right? But she's not in the tabloids like some of these other artists. I mean, she's just beat out. She took the crown from Rihanna, who had the most uh, Facebook likes. I mean, you've got to appreciate her career. She came out in the early 2000s. She's had a kid. She's doing hit records all over the world. And she doesn't need to do any of the crazy stuff that some of yeah. these other artists like Miley Cyrus does. No, good point there. Hey, Kim, let's talk about Dancing with the Stars. Nice little segue for us. Double elimination last night, getting the boot. Swimmer Diana Nyad. I thought she might hang around a little longer just on personality alone and hockey player Sean Avery as well. Your take on the boots last night? Yeah, I mean, surprise double elimination. And you saw Billy D. Williams. You looked you at his face, and he thought he was going home for this one. Uh, you know, I, he really probably had the weakest performance last week. But, yeah, Diana Nyad, I thought she'd stick around for a little bit. I don't even think she thought she was going home. And good for her because they actually announced that she was eliminated, and then they made her dance. So she's kind of upset. She just got eliminated, and she has to go out there and dance. And she did a great job, and she was so gracious about it. Sean Avery, different situation. He got to perform. He got judges, scores, and then he was told he was eliminated but uh it's a it's a rough competition this year you know Merrill and Charlie obviously those are the two to watch and then I love the little uh rivalry that they're trying to play up between Candace and Danica there you go all right we'll, we'll be watching uh again and she's feisty and she's a competitor too so you know Diane and I would want to hang around a little longer hey let, last one let's hit it I can't believe this and I know I'm dating myself footloose turning 30. You got to go back to 84 for this one. So Jimmy Fallon's having a little fun on The Tonight Show. He makes the decree. There's no dancing. Kevin Bacon's not going to stand for it. He barges in on the show. Let's, let's give this a watch here. And Bacon's ageless, by the way. Uh, and, and as we watch this again, Kevin Bacon dancing on The Tonight Show, breaking the decree. Don't you think, Hyla, has the guy aged at all in 30 years? 
he's killing it, right? He, he's doing such a fantastic job. And you also got to give props to, props to Jimmy Fallon. His transition into Jay Leno's spot, they are, they, they are so smart with how they do this. They take someone like Kevin Bacon, who relates to a slightly older audience, and presents him in such a way that it can go viral for the younger audience to get down with it. I mean, he's just killing it at late night right now. There you go. Kevin Bacon getting it done, and then after that, of course, Jimmy Fallon lifted the decree. So dancing once again on The Tonight Show. Kim, Hyla, great stuff, guys.